Okay. Sorry, chat. We're back. Um, no scares. Didn't want to freak anybody out. Just wanted to uh, get Final Fantasy started, so... Let's jump into Cloud's Mind Prison! Well, that's not it. That's not- that's definitely not Cloud's Mind Prison. Nope. Wait. Uh, wait. Nope. That's not it. There we go! Okay, we're good. <clears throat> we're good. Get to see what the hell's going on in there. Further beyond, Mike Cool, Posey Jumping Robot, Zacky, Cactopus again, Argonis, Red Rex Gaming. Thank you, dudes. Um... All right. What's wrong, chat? We good? Are we good? What'd you see? Tell me what you saw. Describe it. Uh, describe it in detail, what you saw. Did it look like that? Did it look a little like that? Just like a little bit? Hmm. I've seen that. I think I've seen what, you, what you're talking about. Just a little bit. Pook almighty, thank you for the four months, dude. Okay. Um... Was it something like that? You need to see it. I can try to find it again. Um, Kelvin the Kid, thank you for the 27 months. Um, it didn't pop up. Weird, Kelvin. It actually didn't pop up on my end. Okay, I haven't had coffee in a long time. It's very uh, comforting. It's like a warm blanket in my mouth. Do 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 do. I didn't actually go into this room right here. Poochies! I got a bad feeling about that meteor. Is everything gonna be okay? I'm alright. Lived a long life. A full life. But I'm worried that my son and his family are living in that far off town. Oh, they're safe. Shit. Take your, I'll take your free elixir. Yeah. A lot of beds in Final Fantasy VII. Many beds. Wait a minute. Did you just take something? Yeah, I took it, old man! Hey, it's mine now. And I'll make good use of it. Believe you me. What an old ball. We'll let him use it. Hey, thanks. It'll, it'll help, Pops. Did you just steal my shit? I did! Certainly did. Where does this go? Oh. Alright. Sid, Sid runs around like his crotch is possessed. Like it's just like a magnet leading him into the next direction. A little weird, Sid. Sidney. Whatever the hell your name is. Hey, Tifa, what's up? No use. I don't understand any of it, Cloud. What should I do? What if you stay like this for the rest of your life? Yacht. A yacht. Coming. They're coming. What did you say, Cloud? Ooh, uh. Damn, what the hell's going on? I mean, they're coming. Oh no, it's. Got to be outside. What's this? The live stream is gushing up from below the surface of the earth. Damn, that's bad. Said, what's wrong? No, nothing. You and Cloud get inside quick. But I don't worry about a thing. I ain't about to die that easily. Be careful. All right, here I go. Watch this. Damn, that fucking weapon of all the times to show up! Okay then, come on, you betch! Oh god, he dive-bombed us, literally, and then sat on our faces. Might be bad. Bum, 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 bum. Grava here! Did I just learn an enemy skill? I might have. This 
got something to steal. He's got something to steal. Okay, I did one. On work. Yes. Ultima Spark. That was scary. Um, guess he just peaced out. All right. Okay. You trying to escape? And yeah, we didn't get to steal, but he'll be back. You fight him like three times. It's a little bit more, and I would have smashed him. Good thing that quake stopped. It was giving me a headache. Damn, you gotta be kidding. This is bad. It's really kicking up now. Something way bigger than that last one is on its way. Oh no good, get out of here. What about Cloud? God damn it! There ain't no time to worry about anyone but yourself right now. Whoa. There's no time, hurry. Everyone panic. Keep a Cloud, get out of there. Oh shit, we better move! <laughs> Wait a minute, Cloud. Doctor, should we move him somewhere? It might be safer to move to an open area. Don't you worry about a thing, Cloud. I'll get you to somewhere safe. Structure can't take it, hurry! Yes! We're leaving now! <laughs> He's just like, wow. Wow, we're gonna die. He's just looking at shit happening. Oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> it has to be in the remake. It has to. It must be in the remake. If it's not, it's not a true remake. Not a real remake. Not my remake. What happened? Where am I? Where's Cloud? Where are you? What? Who? Who is it? I can't hear. Wait a minute. I don't know anything about that. No, it's not me. I never do anything like that. Oh! Somebody help, please! Cronaldo! Yeah! Lavos. Mind prison. Where's Chris Angel? Where am I? Cloud? What is it? What, what is this? Is this the inside of your dreams? Or is it your subconscious? You're searching for yourself. I can help too. We'll work together to try to get the real you back. But where do we start? Uh, 
Right to hear it, this. That starry night at the well, the promise we made. What if the memory is a lie? Not that one. This one. A sealed up secret wish. Memories that no one can ever know. Maybe not that one either. But this one. The gates of Nibelheim, five years ago. Sephiroth passed through these gates. And that's how it all started. Connects to... Nibelheim? That's right, so it's probably best to start there. Let's go have a look. I know it's not easy, but I'll be here. Look. There's the well over there. And that's Gramps Inn. Beat up useless old truck. It's been here since we were kids. This is the Nibelheim that you remember. It's the same as my Nibelheim, that's why it's ours. Hey. Five years ago, two men from Soldier came. One of them was Sephiroth, and the other was... Can you tell me what happened? How does it feel to be back in your hometown? Five years ago, I saw Sephiroth for the first time. What about your parents? He was a famous war hero. Everyone idolized him. To tell you the truth, I thought he was very cold. I remember feeling a sense of foreboding about him. No. I've been hiding it for a long time. I was afraid that if I told you, something terrible might happen. But I'm not gonna hide it from you anymore. You weren't here. Cloud did not come to Nibelheim five years ago. I was hoping you would, but when Shinra arrived, it was Sephiroth and him. Let's go. Zaxu? You mean that the member of Soldier who went to Nibelheim with Sephiroth wasn't Cloud? There's nothing I can say. But I don't know either. We can't give up. If we do, then... Take your time slowly. Yeah, this shit's gonna be really cool in the remake. It's gonna be super trippy. They're gonna have fun with it. That's the thing, is that you gotta realize that a lot of these devs that are gonna be making the remake when they get to this stuff, they love this shit. This, like, this is a very interesting and cool moment about the storytelling of FF7, how they specifically keep information from you and leave shit in the dark because Tifa is afraid. He's afraid that he's gonna fuck everything up by telling Cloud the truth. And that actually messes Cloud up even more. Because Cloud's got some serious mental damage from the shit he's been through. That starry night at the well, our promise. What if the memory was a lie? Hurry, Cloud, don't answer too quickly. Keep checking all the details and it'll come back. Like the sky that night, it was filled with stars. Now, everything's not Tifa's fault. Things wouldn't have changed. It's just that she cared about him and didn't want to fuck him up even more. From the beginning. I was wearing these clothes. That's you too, you were so small.
I made up his memories by listening to my stories. Did you imagine this sky? No, you remembered it. That night the stars were gorgeous. It was Cloud and I. We talked at the well. I kept thinking you were the real Cloud. And still believe you're the Cloud from Nibelheim. But you don't believe in yourself. Those memories aren't enough. What about your other memories? No, wait. We can't trust those, not yet. There has to be a way to untangle the fake memories from the truth. That has to be the personal memory, locked deep within your heart. If we could find one memory, then we could just trust. That's it, what about a memory that has something to do with me? We need to find a memory we share. If you remember something and I remember it too, then we'll know it's ours. Anything, anything important. Actually, now that I think about it, why did you leave to join Soldier? It was so sudden. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. I thought if I got stronger, that someone would notice. Someone to notice you? Who? You! That's who! You! Me? Why? Did you forget about those days? Look, I... Sorry, but what are you talking about? No, it's all right. You were having a hard time back then. You were busy with your own things. It's only natural you don't remember. Remember what? It's important to me. I hate to say it, but it's a very important memory. You want to see. Come on, hurry. I'm clicking. Clicking the buttons. Tender memories no one can ever know. Yeah, <laughs> Cloud's insane and Tifa is extremely dense. There are two peas in a pod. You know where this window goes to. I'll show you. Oh god. Don't worry, I'll check it out. Oh god, I don't want to go over here! Jesus! 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 Sorry. The game gave me control. My room. It was my first time there. Was it? I only used it. Only used to look uh, up at it from the outside. Yo, look. Bob's coming. Stupid Lego kid. You think he wants to come in? Was that the first day you came into my room? That's right. We lived next door to each other, but I didn't really know you. You've always been around since we were kids, so I thought we were close. What's up, Anonymous? Now that you mention it, I don't recall you being in the room. People used to hang around with this group. Right. I thought they were all stupid. What? You're all childish, laughing at every little stupid thing. We were children! I know, I was the stupid one. I really wanted to play with everybody, but they never let me in the group. But later I started to think that I was different. That I wasn't good enough to be in there. I started hoping I can get stronger. Thank you for the thousand bits, turd. Maybe you'd invite me in. I thought that maybe happened, so I hung around. I was stupid and weak. Desperate, I asked Tifa to come out to the well. I thought to myself that she would never come, that she hates me. It was so sudden, I was a bit surprised. But... It was true that we weren't that close. After you left town, I really thought about you a lot. I used to wonder how Cloud was doing. I wonder if you were able to get in a soldier to realize your dream. I started reading newspapers, thinking I'd see an article about you. Thanks, babe. Later, tell him what you told me. It'll probably make him happy. Okay. Roger. Huh? 
What happened on this day? Was it a special day? This was the day. Tifa's mom. Time chat. There's an emote for this. I wonder if there's anything beyond the mountain. It's scary. A lot of people have died here. They say the dead wander through the mountains. Those that died. And maybe. I'm going. Kids like screw that shit. I'm gonna go play some video games. And here comes the reason Cloud's so fucked up. Well, one reason, on top of many. I'm gonna climb that scary bridge? Hell no, let's go back home and play some video games. Goodbye. What? I don't remember the path I walked. Tifa missed her step. I ran to her, but didn't make it in time. We both fell off the cliff. Back then, I only scarred my knees, but... Cloud, why'd you bring Tifa to a place like this? What the hell's the matter with you? What if she dies? Tifa was in a coma for seven days. We all thought she wouldn't make it. If only I could have saved her. I was so angry at myself for my weakness. Ever since then, I felt Tifa blamed me. I went out of control. I got into fights with anybody. And that was the first time I heard... About Sephiroth! I thought if I was strong like... Sephiroth! Then... And Tifa would have to notice me. So that was it. I'm sorry. The veto show 35 bucks. Holy shit. Thank you, dude. Oh <laughs> my god. Just keep up the great work and shine on. Thank you so much, Vito. Holy shit, that's a very generous amount of, uh, um, doubloons. I only remembered more clearly. I might have been able to do something sooner. It's not your fault, Tifa. But I remember back when we were eight. That's it, now I'm sure. You weren't created five years ago. My childhood memories aren't all made up. Hang in there, Cloud, just a little longer. We've almost found the real you. Let's go back to Nibelheim again. So chat! Question! Then be respectful for everyone else that's watching. Be a good chat. Um, how many are aware? of what's about to happen. If you're aware, just say yes. And if you're not aware, say no. I'm curious how many people are just following this story for like the first time, and they don't actually know the sequence of events. There's a lot of yeses. And there's a, there's a couple of no's. There's a couple. There's, a, there's enough no's that I'm still impressed. Not aware. I am unaware. The truth is right here. We almost have the answer right in the palm of our hands. There's a healthy amount of people that are lying. <laughs> Alright, here we go. There's literally an entire video game made around this sequence of events. They actually made a whole game with its entire story just around the Nibelheim incident. So there's a lot of there's a lot of lore here. Get ready, chat. 
Cloud, wait. Where are you going? The reactor. The reactor, the Mako reactor of five years ago. Ugh. Man, Tifa falls off a cliff and also gets nearly cut in half. Tifa better have the scar in Remake. There's that man again. Zack? Zack! You remembered! This is the first time Cloud actually remembers who Zack is. Oh, her cowboy hat is like, uh, body armor, gotcha. This is the first time Cloud actually remembers who Zack is, in, like, five years. That's right, the man who came to Nibelheim with Sephiroth was called Zack. But Cloud, how do you remember this? Did you see all of it? I saw everything. Mom, Tifa, my home. I had so much respect for you. I admired you. <laughs> the surprise might have already been slightly ruined because of the mod. Cloud? So that's what happened. You were there. You were watching me. Yeah, Cloud, Cloud, Cloud impales him. I remember. So it was you. If you're feeling sick, then take that helmet off. Yeah. Yeah, this is me. I never made it to Soldier. I left Nibelheim telling everyone I was going to join, but... I was so embarrassed I didn't want to see anybody. How does it feel back in your hometown? And this time he's actually looking at Cloud. I have to admit, I'm a little curious. I don't have a hometown. Cloud's the ultimate fraud. But Cloud's not just a fraud. He believes it. Cloud, Cloud told himself such a lie that it became truth to him. So he's technically a, technically a schizophrenic. You came, you kept your promise. You really did come when I was in trouble. I didn't get there sooner. It's alright. He might technically have PTSD, yeah. Can't be. Not by someone like you. The thought essentially walks up on Sephiroth when he's not paying attention and stabs him in the back. When Sephiroth is literally like talking to Genova and shit. Cloud, kill Sephiroth. Sephiroth! Don't push your luck. Can't be.
Yeah, the music is actually the wrong music here. It's supposed to be different music. I'll show you guys what it's supposed to be. So, I'll, I'll explain this in a second. Cloud seemingly gets stabbed by Sephiroth, <coughs> and then throws him into the reactor. So, here is the... Here's the big thing, chat. Uh, this scene is a bit different. Before we go any further, the scene is a bit different in the original game. Um, let me show you, because the music is actually better than the PC version. The PC version is technically wrong. Um, watch this. PlayStation version. So. This is from a playthrough from 10 years ago. Oh, shit. Well, maybe not this one. Hang on a second. Uh... Where is... There we go. Here we go. Here's the PlayStation version. Forgot something? Oh no. The guy talking. Okay. So here's here's how the music's supposed to be. Oh, I'll just swiveled around in his body, why don't you? Wait! Oh, he missed him. It actually isn't right. Badass cloud. You sure you didn't make Soldier Man? Uh, is that the right one? Shit. I think it is, like, the... I think that's the right one. I think it's supposed to be the world theme. I don't want to hear this guy... Can't, can't hear anything? Uh... Now play the Crisis Core version. In my opinion, the Crisis Core version is the worst version. Because it technically changes the fucking story. In my opinion. Um... Yeah, right music, bad timing, uh, there we go. Yeah. This looks like the damn PC version again. Yeah, this is the, see? You hear, see how the music changed? It goes back to the reactor theme? That's not correct. It's supposed to, like, do that crescendo world theme thing, and then it, it, like, kicks in as soon as he throws him off. But, as we just saw, With this one, there's nothing. With this one, there's... There's nothing. Um, so yeah, there's... I think the Crisis Core version is actually okay. I think I, I think what I'm thinking of is the Last Order one. So, Cloud Sephiroth, Reactor, Last Order. And there's, there's a gimmick that happens in this one that is a mega negative buenus in my opinion. Hold on a sec, chat. There's a mega negative buenus in this one. There's a big no-no. Yeah, I- Last Order changes stuff too much. The cloud goes and saves Tifa. It's revealed that it's him. Sephiroth cuts off the head of Genova, which is all... which is all right. And that's what happens. This scene has been recreated like four or five times, which is insane. So yeah, Cloud does get stabbed. 
でも思ったのか But here's where it's fucked up. They make it seem like Cloud is some mystical fucking space wizard. And Sephiroth kills himself. What? No. What? How did Cloud become a mystical space wizard? And then why would Sephiroth? Wait, what? Literally throws an anime plot armor. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> literally, like, it could have been cool. And a lot of it does make sense that they literally ruined the motivation of the character. They literally take away the fact that Cloud gets stabbed and finds a way to still pick up and throw Sephiroth into the reactor while still being stabbed. Not because he's an anime space wizard, because they killed his family, they, they fucked up his girlfriend, they just murdered his best friend, seemingly, and Cloud is mad. Cloud is going to do the thing that is going to make him that he's in his redeeming moment. Not because he got some space wizard magic or some shit, like the Mako in him is activated. That's bullshit, man! It completely ruins the character moment. So we'll check out Crisis Core, because I don't remember Crisis Core. Um, the, the thing is, chat, what it boils down to, how the hell is Cloud stabbed and able to, like, force him- force his- his way down and throw Sephiroth into the reactor- in the reactor? Goddamn sh willpower. Like, actual willpower. That this little this this little kid with no fucking special abilities that was a reject uh kills by all intents and purposes kills the most baddest hardcore thing in the in in the game that you understand. Actually kills him. And then seemingly dies right after. Um and that's a way better that's way better storytelling than him being a fucking anime space wizard. Let's look up Crisis Core. Um So, once again, been recreated a third time. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These devs are obsessed with the Nibelheim incident. That's the thing. The most story of Final Fantasy VII technically revolves around the Nibelheim incident. That's what I said. This has been recreated so many times. This is like 10, 15 years ago. This was a PSP game chat room. God, this just loses all the impact. While... While dramatically more accurate, it's actually worse because it... While, while dramatically more accurate, the scene's actually worse just because it's paced terribly, you know? Like, this one... This one makes sense. Like, yeah, that's what happens, but it's not. It's it's not paced well. It the music is weird. Like, it's a bunch of. It's very odd, you know. It's all very odd, and it has this Cloud and Zack moment because they have to set up for you know the rest of the video game. Um, yeah, it's just like there's no tension. That's what I said. The Nibelheim incident has never been done really well. So. Yeah, Quino, um, FF7 playthrough, you said part 60? 
Uh, which one is it? I want to want to hear some guy where someone was saying that it's a long play FF7 long play PSX. Okay. Part 60. How would I fix those scenes? I I would do I would do a lot. I would do a lot. Um Northern Cave, that's not it. Does anyone know? Hmm. Final Fantasy 7. I just need I just need a good video of the PlayStation version, damn it. I just don't want people talking over it. It's part three or four of the long play, okay. Um, part three. Yeah, it'll be here. Okay, here we go. Now we can actually see what the hell this is supposed to be like. Well, here we go. Here's the correct music, the way it was originally intended. A lot of people are bugged about this because the newer versions of FF7 fuck up this music. And in my opinion, this music is a big part of why this, this moment's impactful. Music always syncs up that way, you know? Music always syncs up that way, so it's actually, it's a swell. It's really good. It's his big fucking triumphant moment, and then it gets, it goes down because he pretty much dies. Um, it's good. It's better. So, in my opinion, that's, that, the original PlayStation version is actually the best recreation. It's not even a recreation. It's the, it's the best way that you can thematically get the original FF7 uh, Cloud and Sephiroth scene together. You get a lot more detail in Crisis Core, you get a lot more anime drama in, uh, what the hell's the other one called? Last Order? But, for me personally, uh, that scene is actually the best in the original PlayStation version of the game. Like, place PSX ass old PSX version. And chat, you'll have to tell me, um, we have to get, yeah, in, in the remake, you'll actually get some good audio sync, because that, I'll tell you right now, chat, one of my favorite things in the world is video game and action moments in movies actually choreographed to music. One of my favorite things in the world. It was literally what me and Mick designed all the trailers for KI to be around. It was super important. And I am so happy to tell every single one of you FF7 fans that might be watching right now, the developers fucking get it. They fucking, as one of the few people that saw the full, the full demo for the bombing run, I could fucking tell you the devs get that. It's an important thing for them. It's very important because there is so much of the music is just absolutely orchestrated through that entire, the entire thing. It's so polished that it's in, it, I can't, I absolutely love it. It's one of the reasons I know I like Baby Driver. The end of Baby Driver isn't great, but I think the Matrix. It's one of the reasons I love the Matrix. The the music in the Matrix is just so fucking good. It's one of my favorite things. So all I'm telling you is that is one of the most important things that they could have fucked up. However, from what I've from what I saw, and the rest of the game could be awful. It could be, it could be ass biscuits in a cereal box. I don't know, but from what I saw, it was really good. It was really good. The music orchestrated everything, including when you were actually in fights. It was super cool. So, I just want, I just want the devs to, uh, I just want Square Enix to show everybody the full bombing run. That's what I want. I don't want to have to be describing this shit until the game comes out. I really don't. I want everyone to see that bombing run. I hope people get to play that bombing run. I really do. It's only a demo. I know, it could change. It could, I mean, it could get better. It could get worse. I, I can't comment on that. All I can tell you is what I saw. And I was really, I was beyond, beyond impressed. Um, beyond impressed. So I'll be streaming that Gamescom live opening. Yeah, you better believe it.
Did I actually have to play the early demo? Yes, I played the game, I, but I played the same demo everybody else did, which is the Scorpion boss fight and the descent down uh, the reactor. And that's like the last quarter of the bombing run, to be honest. Oh, I have no NDA. No, what, what I've seen, what I've seen of it, everyone else has seen. It's just that no one described it with as much detail, because I don't know if any of the other journalists that watched it, like, love it as much as I do, where I was, like, hanging on every fucking moment. Um, so... We pretty much played at E3 one-fourth of what that bombing run is. Because the bombing run's pretty long, and that's not even the end of it. Once you, once you beat the Scorpion, that's the end of the demo. But then after that, the escape sequence, you don't, you don't even know. And it looks like there's like a bike chase sequence in the shit. I just, it's all this stuff. So the demo is going to be playable at Gamescom. If you guys are in Germany in a couple of weeks, I highly recommend you go there and you, uh, you check it out. I highly recommend. All right, let's continue. So long story short, Cloud by sheer willpower and uh, sweet revengeance throws Sephiroth into the life stream via the reactor and seemingly is dead because Sephiroth stabbed the shit out of him. Cloud? This is goodbye, Tifa, until we meet again. Eh? I'll form the head. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk chat room. Crowd? Ugh. Brains converged. Activate blazing sword. Uh, Tifa. Wow, is it really you? Yeah, Tifa, we finally meet again. You stupid jerk! You had me worried sick! God! Are you alright? Voices there. We must still be in the live stream. We need to go back. We have to go back. Everyone's waiting. Let's go back to everyone. Let's go home. <laughs> Let's just have this shit spit us back up. Everyone just had their abyss moment. They were able to breathe the water. Yo, you all right, Tifa? Uh. Barrett, you're here. Where's Cloud? Don't worry about him, he's a tough one. When I was in the live stream, I found the real Cloud. I mean, I didn't really find him, he found himself. Uh, I know, I shouldn't have doubted him. But I can't win against you, you're some kind of lady. People have so many things pent up inside. So many things they forget, but can't forget. Strange. Tifa, snap out of it! Tifa! Everyone, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Cloud. All you've been doing is apologizing. I was never in Soldier. I left Nibelheim looking for glory to become a hero like Sephiroth, but instead I was so ashamed of myself that when we were sent to Nibelheim, I hid my face from everybody. The soldier that went to Nibelheim with Sephiroth was Zack. He was my best friend. What I remembered was an illusion. I don't know when it happened, 
but I ended up becoming Zack. An illusion. Pretty damn strong for an illusion, I'd say. Physically speaking, I'm probably as strong as someone in Soldier. Hojo injected everyone in Nibelheim with Genova cells in a procedure similar to how Soldier is produced. Chat room! His goal was to create mindless clones that would react to Genova's control and help him prove his reunion theory. Genova uses its cells to take control of other organisms, overwhelming them. But Sephiroth was different. He was able to reverse that influence and take control over Genova instead. That's why his eyes closed when he would stab Genova cells. Mr. Panda 84! His eyes glowed when he had Genova cells. Before he was injected. His eyes glowing in that moment is literally before he's taken from Hojo to go get in, in to go through this the, the 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 soldier process way before that happens way down the line we ha we haven't even gotten there in the story yet chat room stay with me he used to have Genova break out of Shinra HQ and started seeking out the black materia for his meteor plan as for me I completely lost myself when I was given Genova cells. When I met Tifa in Midgar, a jumbled mess of my own memories, desires, and Zack's stories came out. And that's how it was. I was too weak to resist Genova's cells, and Sephiroth took advantage of that. I couldn't fight back. The new persona I built for myself was based on someone else's life, and in the end, I gave him the Black Materia. But I found myself again. I know who I am, and what I can do and can't do. I gotta accept the truth, I'm going to live as me from now on. Pretty messed up, Cloud. That means he ain't no different from before. By the way, Cloud, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna fight with us, or are you gonna leave the ship? I'm the reason why Meteor is falling towards us. It's my responsibility, I'm not gonna run. Good! Then you're gonna keep fighting to save the planet. It's like you always told me, Barrett. Oh, uh, yeah. What? I don't understand. This train we make, no stops, no getting train on, off of this train until the- Nobody knows what it is! Everyone's on a train and things are moving and you have to jump or get a ticket. I don't know what it is. They all tried. They had their different versions because Barrett's always saying weird shit. All right. The planet's dying, Bert. Okay. Ah, oh, god damn it. My materia is on Sid. Fuck. Okay, well, I gotta go get all my stuff back. We're back together. The band's back together. Excuse me, could I just say... What? Cloud, I wanted to let you know that I was moved by your story. I've always felt like a weak person, so I understand how you must have felt at the time. There's a lot of fighting ahead, so let's get ready. We're getting the band back together. Barrett's almost dead. <laughs> Holy shit. Um... In fact, I might as well just stick in this person and this person. Wait, no, that's not right. Oh, God. Listen, Cloud. We're right in the middle of the situation with the Mega Materia. Our next objective is in Junyon. More specifically, the underwater reactor. That appears to be the last one we need to grab before it can be transported out of here. Well, that's that. Let's go. Okay. Go back and figure out some party shit. Transfer materia by the attire person. I know I can, but I have to get Cloud's equipment. Cloud and Tifa don't have the right equipment.
you just, like, remove? I actually can't. Um... Crystal Bangle. Wait. What the fuck? Cloud. Hurry up. Crystal Bangle. Uh... Range. Change. Sid. Cloud. It has been done. Okay. Um... Uh, it's like you have to- you can't, like, de-equip shit. Okay, I forgot about this. Here, take the curse ring. You. Take the... What am I not gonna use? Uh, take the safety bit. I gotta go buy the crystal sword, yeah. Something using organics, holy shit. I don't know if there's a button. You can unequip accessories with triangle. Let me try that really quick, chat. Let me try that. Let's see if maybe see if triangle's the button. That's a big negative buenus, chat. That's a big negative buenus. That's a big negative buenus, chat. It does not remove. It does for that, but it doesn't for the armor. Works on this, but not the armor. Only accessories, yeah. Okay, good to know. Okay. Band's back together. Let's, uh... Get everyone the correct gear back on. We got Crystal Bangle. Everyone's got Crystal Bangles. That's good. Uh, Cloud needs to get his power wrist. And what were you using, Tifa? Is it magic? Tifa, magic lady? Um, hello, B. Thank you for the 1532. I've been loving the FF7 streams. Just wanted to ask. Many people think that the remake will be a three part series. Do you agree with that thought? Or do you think it'll be an extra game to keep the series on par with what you've seen so far? I think from the first time they said it was going to be a multi-part game, that they would split the game into three parts. Absolutely. I think it's a, I think it's going to be a three-part game. Kind of similar to FF13. Their story was three parts. Not of that quality. FF7 looks way more polished than anything Square has ever done, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I've always, I've actually felt that since the very, very, very first time I saw it. But who's my magic caster? Tifa was Punch Woman, I'm pretty sure. Uh, her magic is actually not great. Cloud's magic was the best. So Tifa's more about strength than Cloud is. Let's do this. You need strength and magic. There we go. Hybrid Brace. And then Punch Lady. Power! We got Gun Man. Nope, they don't have to pay full price for each part, it's scummy. Well, I mean, if you don't like paying for three completely different games, then yeah, it would probably be scummy. Luckily, they're gonna be three completely different games. Which they've already said. I don't know. Can't think of it like it's some funky-ass, uh, episodic thing that... Uh, we're not drawn to life. What the hell is it called? Well, Telltale game. Everyone thinks it's gonna be like a Telltale game. They should have never used the term episodic, because that's all... That's all people think when they think of episodic. Uh... Materia. Uh, weapon. Change. 
Yeah, how similar is Final Fantasy 13 to each Final Fantasy 13 game? They're almost like they're three different games with different mechanics and shit. May I select, suggest Feather Touch? You have selected Power Drive. Um. Boink. And I should be able to. Ah, uh, this is all time. I took off added effect because it was too taxing. Um, uh oh. Hmm. Well, I mean, that, yeah, they, they did say episodic, which does, which absolutely is a good way to describe what it's going to be. It's going to be episodic. However, you have to realize, Chad, the term episodic and video games have different connotations. What that means in terms of episodes is something more akin to something like a Telltale game. Where it's just like, oh, you have another part, like... I, you, I, what I first thought was like, oh man, so how long... The first one's gonna be six hours? Like, it's just gonna be this much and then they're gonna come back six months later and then have another one and another one and another one? That's not what they're doing. Like, they're gonna be... I'm telling you right now, and I've, I have, I'm now batting a fucking thousand on what FF7 Remake is gonna be, and I called it back in 2015 when it was announced. It's gonna be three parts, I believe. First part was gonna be Midgar, called that years ago. The second part's gonna come out on next generation hardware, and it's going to be an open world game. It's gonna be an actual better, good open world game, unlike FF15, and it's, uh, no towns. That's what I'm predicting. The first game's gonna be pretty linear, more story-based, and then would we'll still have a bunch of shit you can do because you're gonna be visiting way much way more Midgar in the first game. The second game is actually going to be FF7 world map open world type shit. Different game. Like different mechanics. You can do different things in the field and shit like that. In my opinion, like just clip it now. Clip it now, because that's gonna be what it is. That's gonna be what it is. I've, every single other thing that has that has come true, I called years ago. And guess what? It all is exactly what they're doing because as someone who likes Final Fantasy VII, that's what I would do. Like, that's the, that's the approach I would take it. I'm like, you absolutely could make a full game out of Midgar. Absolutely. In fact, that'd be super interesting. Talk to me, I need some damn gear. Um, Crystal Sword! Fuck! Well, it's got better attack. Unfortunately... I'll take it. Got money. When will Part 2 end? It's my theory... Part 2... needs to end like Empire Strikes Back. Which is exactly how... I mean, I don't know if you've noticed the, the comparisons chat between Star Wars and a lot of Final Fantasy games, but there's a lot of it. Um, just the way the composition of the games is sort of structured. Very Star Wars-like, right? The middle of this game is about everything is fucked. Like, our friends are dead, we're all gonna die, uh, there's no way, there's no way we're getting around it. The Ark Knight, thank you, dude. That's absolutely how Part 2 needs to end. So, I, I personally feel Part 2 is going to end with Aerith dying. Or, uh, right after Meteor Summons. But I don't think after Meteor Summons is a good enough, is, is, it's a great moment, but I don't think it's the best moment. I think, I think part two should absolutely end with Aerith, with Aerith's passing. That's where you, that's where you cut to credits. After, at the, the, the final scene is Cloud in the water, and with Aerith in hand, and they let her go in the water, and they're all there, and the camera, the camera pans the fuck out, and to be continued. Jesus, dude, that's a powerful as fuck ending. Uh, and then the rest of it is the conclusion of the game, because there's not a lot that happens. Disc 2 is, is really good, but it's short. 
Disc 3 is extremely short. And what happens in terms of actual scale and storytelling? There's really not a lot. Like, there's... there's not a lot. So I'm just- I'm just gonna tell you right now, predicting the future, FF7 Part 1's gonna end with them on the freeway approaching the open world, and it's gonna go to credits on their- on the search for Sephiroth. Part 2 is going to end with them finding Sephiroth, and Sephiroth killing, uh, one of the most important party members, and then, and then her, the party members passing with the team, and the eventual extreme sadness that they're going to have at the end. And then their rally back to the eventual meteor, and all the stuff that happens after that. All the cool stuff they can add with the weapons, and the... To, to me, the first part is about the introduction to the world, the second part is about the drama, and the fact that you now have the open world. The third part is... It's going to be epic as fuck. Like, the, the finality of FF7 is super epic. Like, the shit we're doing right now is about to get insanely epic on just a scale. Giant kaiju robots are all over the world fighting shit. They're, you have to get in submarine battles. You have to go through, like, the things are crashing into mountains and they're explo- Like, the third part of FF7 is super epic, um, just in the old game. So that's exactly what they get to do. They get to have this big-ass epic final game. And, to me, that's the best way to approach it, because by the time the third game happens, how the hell do you have boss fights with monsters that are gonna be 50 to 100 feet tall? How do you do that shit? Seems like you might need next generation hardware, and seems like you might need to be two games deep into this combat system, into learning how... what people liked about the first and second game, to make the final game as good as it possibly can be. So, no, they don't need to hire me, because what I've seen so far, they get it. What, I, what I've seen so far of what they have shown behind closed doors, they do actually get it. Like, it seems like the guys that are... Seems like the guys that are making the game are pretty much just as big fans. And they get to be at Square doing this shit. So... When that'll come out, I don't know! You know what? I don't know. I'm just glad it exists. I'm just glad it exists. Uh, let's get this thing on cloud. Bam! All right, I think we're uh, I think we're gravy cakes. Osmos MP absorb. Let's see if I need to get MP back. Uh, Comet is very far from leveling up. Uh, Tifa, you Hydro. Um, Bango Mango Arc Nine. Thank you again for the seven gift subs. Bango, I feel like the OG Cloud killing Sephiroth was the best, like you, but I must remind you of the reimagining rather than a remake uh, term you coined is appropriate for those. Yes, the compilation Mumbo Jumbo assumes you uh, assumes you know the original first. Do you agree? Yeah. Well, that's the thing is that, like I said, from what I've seen, it's it's just like Resident Evil remake two, just like that. It's a- it's how you remember it, it's just way different, but the same. It's like they- It's like there was a nice balance between the two. So, I think you can kind of expect it to be sort of like that. Wait, does that thing literally take your magic down when I have it? No, it takes my vit down. Okay, we can't put that on Tifa. How about Tifa? You have, uh... Added effect. Damn it, that takes your vit down too. Mother Pfeiffer. Elemental shit. Whoops, my ass. I need more all, dude. I need to find more all magic, and I just can't find it yet. So the knights are going to be disc three. I mean, probably. I would do that. That's epic shit, right? Knights of the Round is some epic shit. That kind of that kind of falls in line with what it seems like they would be going pathwise. Yeah, added effect and elemental dis that's the thing. In this version of the game, you have to make some huge trade-offs what your what what your materia you'll be sticking on characters because they have very, 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 very big effects on the way things actually work.
Hmm. All time. Uh, sneak attack, steal. I still like that. Mug is still hella far away. Uh, are the espers even worth using? Very specific situations. If you want to use summons in this game, you need to like... I'm gonna use it for raw damage and their effects, because summons have like an added effect that always works. But you can only use a summon once. You can literally only fire up a summon once in this version of the game. They're all mastered if you take a look at them. They all come mastered. And they only have one use. So, yeah. No, I haven't even- we just got the planet materia, and I'm gonna fucks around with it right now. Jesus, Tifa, what is your- what is your defense at? 142. Actually, not terrible. Cloud's technically the weakest. Is it once per bat? Once per battle. Sorry, once per engagement. God, even Gill Up comes with a huge cost. Okay, we definitely need Asuna. We got good stats now. We're good. Fort Condor should have all materia for sale now. Really? Yeah, let's go to... Uh, we have a lot of places we can go to at this point in the game. Let's just start going there. Yeah, Teppen got uh, Tifa as... I'm sorry. Te uh, Teppen got Jill as a playable character we played with her last night. It's pretty interesting. I think she's going to get better next month, though. All right. Uh, OG Fort Condor or NT Fort Condor? Uh, I was just there and they weren't selling shit, but I do know that if we go head over to um, Cosmo Canyon, there should be some stuff. Attack four times, uh, uh, four times, double cut. That shit has not shown up in this playthrough yet. It has not shown up. I do not know where it is in uh, New Threat, but it has not made its, uh, its appearance. What color is Jill? Jill is uh, Jill is in her Resident Evil 3 costume. I actually can't land right here, right? You can't land on ground stuff. Okay, let's save it. <laughs> Tifa for Teppin? Okay. It's an ancient forest? Well, we're gonna have to go through some shit to get that. I mean, is it an ancient forest and new threat? Yeah, new threat, it might actually be in one of the, uh, hidden caves. Damn. Everyone's got their fucking limit. Okay, that works. Fort Condor should be the only place you can buy all materia. I'll have to go back and check it out because I need another one. All materia has been very limited and they're very good, but I, I don't. There's not a lot of them. I think you get less all materia in this version of the game than the original version. Yeah, we got the big materia. It's called the planet materia. Uh, I think I gotta go in here. Hmm. No, it's the uh, ladder. Hey, it's gone. Going upstairs. Uh oh. 
Escort guard. Halves, earth, poison, and hidden. Good for defense. That's good for Barrett. Yeah. What's this? Full cure materia! That pops up in a much different area in the original game. Um. Full cure. Oh, Tifa, how about you put on full... Oh no, what, what's it gonna cost, chat? Here's the thing. Everything comes at a price. What's full cure gonna... Oh, it's the same shit. It's actually a little bit more. More max MP. Full cure. Revives? Slash restores 100%. Revives? They did something different here. They, uh... They make Cure a holy... Materia. Okay. So, minus 5 vit. Oh! It won't do anything. Well, next level needs only 500. Okay. I gotta level it first. It does literally nothing until I, I break it open. Um... So is that it from here? It might cost a shit ton of MP. It might. It's like 130 MP. Ugh. Let's just level it up. Level it up. So I'm assuming that's it for here. I don't think there's anything else we need to worry about. No, we didn't get a chance to do Raid Supers for Guilty Gear yet. You did not miss it. EXP gain on Cloud to catch him up? He'll be fine. That EXP gain thing is like minus... shit ton of stats. A little... A little hairy. Look at this. 10 10. And he's already low on that shit. So. Yeah, we're gonna go check out Fort Condor because everyone's like, oh, check out Fort Condor. Um, I'm willing to investigate because this is this is now a, a big part of the game. This is usually when you go side questing, to be honest. Um the, the best place for side questing is the beginning of disc 3. But this is usually where I I went side questing. Is right around right around this area of the game. Yo, uh Slang Kyle. Stricken down, Magusho, Oni Time, the Spartan Gaming, Grim Reminder, Real Mothman Kid 13. Uh Kai Kale Zuki. Arc Knight again with the seven gift subs. Quit laughing, Ocrins, Halopi, thank you again for the 15 bucks, man. Uh, Galaga Forever, Dikazooie, Max Maximilian, thank you for the tier one in six months. Uh, Crazy M24, Saber Dirge, Bushwick, Program 2K, Wild Hyena Games, Hot Iron Clad, Real Femto, Skeptic SMT, Cactus Zack, Tank Justin, Fire and Ice Mix, America Havilland, Solid Moonrunner, Nitroxix, uh, Vito, thank you again for the 35 bucks, man, holy hell. Coyote, Dennis 2KK, Veters, Zemo Stink, Cone Corvin, Zombie Eaters, Seth Lord, and uh, Turd Ferguson. Appreciate the thousand bits, man. Anonymous with the 11 bucks. Jay Trident upgrades Scalzo, Yuraka, Vocaloid Panic, Bat Viking, uh, Soul Shine, Rotten Golem, Warm Penguin, remotely, uh, remotely Mellow put in 777. I made my debut in professional wrestling today. I got chopped so many times that there's still handprints on my chest, and committing to watch you play FF7 makes my night perfect. Thank you, good sir, for all the embarrassing comment content. That's pretty amazing. Uh, I won't lie. Compared to what I'm doing, remotely mellow. That sounds that sounds actually amazing. Uh, congratulations, dude. Holy shit. Inappropriate gesture, young solstice, blue sword, uh, and change ninja. Thank you for the tier one. 
Uh, Aeropath, thank you for the 11 months. Okay. Here we go. Go do this thing. Professional wrestling, damn. Uh, two four Condor. Yes, I'm actually Sting, so if you want any pointers, I can tell you how to put on your face paint. I was uh, Sting in the uh, World Wrestling Federation and the WCW. It was a small little organization, but I was a uh, I was a character called Sting. I did many uh, many stunts for a long time, but I don't like talking about it too much, so no questions. Okay, let's see if they have anything. I'm pretty sure chat's gonna be wrong on this one. Pretty sure chat's gonna be wrong. We're gonna find out. Yo, hang in there. Not here. Nah, chat. Nah, chat. Sorry. Hmm. Maybe I can talk to this guy up here? Oh, it's you. Thanks for everything. Goodbye. Goodbye. I wish it was there. I want another all materia. Yeah, there is a little island that has some cactuars on it. Hmm. I might have needed to donate some guild of the fort, but I didn't do that. So it didn't it didn't happen. Steve house and play the piano? Uh, I gotta wait till disc three. You're not allowed to get ultimate weapons until disc three and new threat. So, there's a little island... ...that's hidden down here. A wee little island that I can now get to. Um... And it's actually not on the map. That's not it. A wee little island! And here it is. It's a tiny little island. I better save. I better save. Alright, from what I remember, this can get very hairy very fast. Um, alright, so. I think you're- you're able to morph? Maybe? Um... You might be able to morph some shit here. But I don't remember. Hmm. I think you morph the Cactuars into something. But I'm not too sure what. What you get out of it. So let's just do this. Um, is it the Tetra Elemental? That sounds, that sounds like it was in the old game. the most attack power. It'd be Cloud, technically. Okay. Here we go! That's a Cactuar, alright. Tifa sneak attack. Nothing to... Seven, 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 seven. The fuck out of here. Missed. Oh shit. So, so all the cactuars have lucky sevens on them. Mm. 
Cactuars all have lucky sevens. So they will always do... So that means Thousand Needles, no matter how much damage it does, are always gonna do 7777. Um, might wanna wait on this one. Yeah. Maybe. Try one more time. Um, maybe one more time. Yeah, I have to, I have to, I have to do some kind of damage to it. Like, preemptive needs to kick in. Mashing this motherfucker. Oh no, multi-attack. Oh no, he's got tons of... It's got double attack, and it's got seven seven sevens on, and it's got a lot of agility. I need to make sure I I pretty much need to make sure preemptive materia is on, and then open the fight with meteor rain, meteorian. Um, yeah. Tifa might be the only one with grit that's able to survive this. So. Big brain plans. Big brain plans here. Um, Gurdoom, thank you for the 777 Cactuars Unite. We'll figure it out. Sneak attack Leviathan? Maybe. Oh, actually, yeah, the sneak attack with, uh, here we go, uh, Materia? Oh, you have nothing to steal. Fuck it. Oh, boba ba dee bee dee dee bee dee bee Oh, bee 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 Nice, Barrett, you got it. Ah! Take this, you shithead. I have plans. Birds out. Okay, half health gone. Everyone's back and everyone's pissed. Ow. Oh, I don't think I put Morph on. It's like a thousand damage. Pack tour. Oh no, he's in like perfect morph state. God. Wow, he died from poison. All right. It's very hard to morph because of the insane evasion. <gasps> he gives shit. He actually gives shit. Oh my god. He actually gives total shite. Don't really need this. Phoenix is like very necessary. Um Well. That was fun. Okay. Sneak attack. 
Lightning. Yeah, I just need to hit him with something. Cloud, you still got preemptive on, right? Okay. Let's try to get this guy's... Let's just try to hit him. Got any 255 hit weapon? <gasps> That's a really good point. Attack percentage is what I gotta look at. Of course I don't. Of course I don't. Oh my god, Clouds is the worst. Tifa's is actually the best. Okay. Um, if I confuse him, it might work. It might work if I, like, confuse him or some shit. Beep, 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 beep. What the fuck? Ow. Weird horned bull. God, these guys give shit. I'm in the I'm in the dirt. Who's this jobber? Hard nips in my mouth. Thank you for the 31 months. Eroid spooning. Appreciate it, guys. Cactar. Nice! Good shit, Tifa! Nuke that bitch. Marihar! Yes! Oh no. Oh no. Damaging himself. Fuck, it can't hit though. Nice. Mother bitch! It's gonna be harder than, um... It's gonna be harder than I thought. It's gonna be harder than I thought, chat. Okay, so that really hurts him. I didn't expect I would do that much damage. Okay. No gravity spells? Good call! Good call. You get a really good, um, either accessory or armor piece for morphing these guys, but it's not fucking easy. Yes! I can do the comment now. hit. Packed where? Uh, okay, 1100.
See how much morph actually does. Uh oh. Don't fall asleep. Fuck! Maybe this will work. How much was. Mother bitch. Okay, defend. I think it's just one more. Seven! Seven fucking life! Yes! Yes! Strategies! Execution! Alright. What'd I get? I don't even paying attention. What did I get? What'd I get? Uh, I, 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 if I can, what? Uh... You got a Cactuar gun! It's not what we want. That's an in- that's an in-battle usable item that... <laughs> it's not- no, it's not for Vincent, it's just... It's this, chat. Thousand damage, or your money back. <sighs> this island is fucking USELESS! This island is TRASH! Damn it. I'm really thinking that, um... Hmm. I'm really wondering if there's not much else that I could do right now. Uh... Because of the new threat limitation. If there's just not... If there's just not a lot I can do outside of the story, and the, and the game just wants me to get to disc 3 to do all the side quests. That could be the case. Hmm. Yeah, Cactuar Island is not great. I can't get to Ancient Forest, I don't think. I don't even see... I haven't even seen fucking... Ultima Weapon flying around. Chocobo quest, and that's really it. Well, you don't need to raise chocobos in this version of the game. It's literally not required. Like, this- you don't raise chocobos. That, I think the game just gives it to you at a certain point. A lot more opens up after the submarine chase. Okay. I just don't think there's a lot here right now. We gotta go to Junion Harbor. Wait a minute. Hatred Copter is saying Cactuars and Cactuars are different enemies in this game. Pretty sure the Cactuars are on a different island. At least in the base game they were. We actually can't get there, chat. We actually can't. There, you cannot get to Vincent's. You can't land here. There's no place to land. You can't land here. You can only you can only get here via a mountain chocobo, a green chocobo. The only way it works. Or potentially a, uh, maybe a, a, you need either a green or a blue chocobo to get here. You can't land. You can land here. Not there. Um, yeah, I think it's just the submarine. I really think it is. Okay, let's, let's do the submarine stuff. Um, let's go park at Junion. I'm gonna go stretch a bit. And, uh, we'll make our way. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's fun discovering new shit. I- I kind of love it when we play like an older game and find a new... different way... to... to play the game. Yeah, my materia is all fucked now. Uh, Comet, MP Turbo, Osmos, MP Absorb... Enemy launcher. It is what I want. Oh, gravity. Um, counterattack. Welcome back to the 
Jesus, then that 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 HP hit is insanity. Insanity. Poison all. HP absorbed just doesn't seem like it's really worth it, but you know what? Fuck it. Doesn't seem to do enough, right? It seems very shitty. Okay. Okay, so Shinra Mansion for a new threat. Gotcha. We have a plan. It's like the one. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what it's. That's all I want. I just want to know stuff that I can miss. I don't need to know exactly what it is. Um, but yeah. Death Blow HP Absorb is a good pairing. Really? Command counter. I need more commands, dude. I just don't have any. That's kind of the problem. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this the way it is. Yo, uh, Toad's Fanboy, thank you for the 777, dude. You think it's funny that some complain about Tifa's sports broad doing sports broad things with Japan was mad that Aerith's face was looking too westernish, also that Tifa got her OG outfit in Dissidia, but the remake costume looking good too. Um, people find, like, when you get games that are so popular, like FF7, that is literally, like, ingrained in video game history, it's impossible. Like you're just people are going to have a huge variety of opinions regarding the way they think things should be. That's just the way it is. Just the way it is. Um, they're entitled to their opinion. Just that I don't have to give a shit. <laughs> you know. Okay. Um, dude, say I should say maybe we got a mysterious boss fight. Shinra Mansion, so here we go. Oh. Shit. I'm guessing I have to go downstairs. Just up here into the right. 500 bits from Everling, thank you, dude. Ever living. Okay. Yeah, this is this game is heavily modded. Uh, backgrounds have been redone, character models redone. This is practically a remake, remaster, in itself. Rap. Shit, this bat might be hard to kill. Damn, Barrett and his counter hits are insane. Oh god. No, just bats. Thank crap. Damn, Barrett, you're pissed. That counterattack's really kicking in a lot. Nothing.
Anything weird in Vincent's bunk house? Uh, nope. Shit. Oh god. Barret's poisoned. I'm fucking running away from this guy. I don't need to deal with this shit. Give me that high potion. I'm getting the hell out of here. Enemy takes too long to fight. Project S+, plus, specimen A, code Z. A message has been scratched onto the other side of the glass. Feeding time. Project S+, plus, specimen B. Message has been scratched onto the other side of the glass. Escape. Living again? Thank you for all the bits, man. Holy shit. Just because I didn't cheer all my bits the first time, the second time wasn't enough. Hey, thank you so much, man. Holy hell. Um, throwing them in. We read this before. Um, nothing here, chat room. Somebody told me to come here. Document appears to be damaged, only a few words illegible. Locked away, do not. Mutations, abandon this. It only triggers in disc 3 for new threat. Well, fuck. Whoever said that is lying. Someone said we can do the beginner Junion League. Or bats. Yes, I'm an aqua lung this one bat. Damn, Aqualung got an upgrade visually, holy hell. There's a round robin battle format in Junion Beginner's Hall. 1v1 fights, scaled around level 50. Alright. Alright. Bear it with the cover. God damn, I love you, Barrett. He doesn't even have triple attack on. He's got multi counter attack. Nice. Wait, full cure. Okay, it's being leveled up three. <laughs> Yeah, we set up uh, defense. Bar Barrett's like power forward. He's 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 going to be super defense, and when he gets hit with shit, he's going to counterattack like crazy. So uh, this league thing for the golden saucer. Would I? Is it just better to? Is it just better to do it later? Is it really just better to do it later? Like, I can focus on it all at one time? Because right now I'm gonna have to make like a cloud class and get them all his shit, get that ready to go. You know, I think I think it might be better just to wait. Um, Tigurix, J. Harazi, get slimy motion, disarmed Remo, hard nips in my mouth. Thank you guys. I think it's better just to do it later. Yeah, let's go to Junion. Slim Bill, 95. Thanks, man. Okay, yeah, we'll wait till later. 
Oh, it's in Junyun. Oh. It's, no, I thought it was in uh, the other thing. Might just best to wait till disc three. Okay. Um, give me a sec, chat. Which music do you want to listen to? Why? Take a quick step up. I asked Priscilla, grandfather, about opening a flower stall here. He didn't seem too keen. Which just means you're going to have to convince him for me. Get rough if you have to. Get rough, Aerith. I don't think that's how. Have you always been like this? <laughs> we had a close shave up there. I wonder how many of those other town weapons have attacked out there. Once meteor hits, I wonder if the ocean and the fish there will survive. Oh, uh, no. Weapon could have killed everyone down here. Hate to say it, but that big ass cannon the Shinra built came in handy. So, uh, I've been wondering. I'm wondering, you're about to say something awful. Don't be such a pessimist. I was gonna ask you about what you like to eat. Oh. Well, that doesn't sound too. Do you eat dog food? How do you get the cans open with those dumb paws of yours? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. No Sid. Ugh. Hey, I'm gonna fight you. It ain't cheap to bribe me, it's gonna take zero gil! Sounds pretentious. You're such a cheapskate. <laughs> um, Zarkonos, thanks for the 47 months. Hurry up and get in. Digital effects. Computer generated images. Moving fast, but kind of slow. 2019. Amazing visuals. Revolutionary. All right. I guess I'll, uh... The Shinra's collecting mega materia at the Junyun underwater reactor. When they're done, they'll bring it to this airport. Get out of here before you get in the way. Want me? I'm gonna be watching from here so that I don't get in their way either. Okay. Alright, chat. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We shall continue this adventure together. And, uh... Get past the submarine, because once the submarine's done... Game really opens up. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna want to go to the Galinka right after, but there's a lot of good shit down there. It might be good just to run down there and grab some stuff because there's so many important um, end game ass end game items that pop up in that spot. Maybe I don't know. I actually don't know if that's the case on this version of the game. Anyway, I'll be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere, and we'll continue playing into the night. <laughs>